Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, your boy Urban Cast AK, and I'm back here with another brand new video. I hope you guys are having a great day. So, I'm here to give my Belgium Grand Prix predictions. So, without any further ado, let's get right into the video, guys. So, starting off with the top three main race qualifiers. Well, in pole position, I have the man who is inevitable for pole position, though it wasn't the case in the Hungarian Grand Prix. Um, I think uh, it's going to be Max Verstappen for pole at the Belgium Grand Prix. As simple as that. And in P2, uh, I think it's going to be Lando Norris. But I think the car is going to be good around here uh, at Belgium. Um, at Silverstone, the McLaren was really good on the high speed corners. And uh, you have uh, a lot of high speed corners around the Belgium Grand Prix. So, circuit. So. It's very much possible for Lando to qualify P2 for the main race. So in P2, I have Lando Norris. So in P3, um, I have Lewis Hamilton. Yes, I think Lewis Hamilton will get a top three qualifying, at least for the main race in the Belgium Grand Prix. He was able to produce a magical lap around Hungary and I feel like he would be able to carry that confidence into the Belgium Grand Prix weekend. And a top three for a Mercedes is not really a huge ask or a bold prediction. So it is pretty realistic. So that is my top three main race qualifiers. And now let's get to the top three qualifiers for the sprint race. So for pole position, it is the very same case. I feel like it's going to be Max Verstappen who's going to take a very comfortable pole position. And uh, it's going to be ahead of his teammate Sergio Perez in P2. Yes. I think Sergio Perez will take a comfortable second place uh, start for the sprint race and um, it's going to be a very smooth qualifying at least for him in the sprint race because I didn't put Sergio Perez in the main race qualifying in the top three because I mean let's be honest he's been having a very hard time uh, under mixed weather condition qualifying sessions that's where he has had most of his horrible qualifying results because I feel like it's going to be raining out there uh, in Belgium uh, the qualifying session for Sergio Perez may not be as smooth and straightforward as he would want or like though he said that he has been doing a lot of simulator work to try and fix and troubleshoot his issues that he's been having with the car in the mixed weather conditions. Let's see if he has uh, ironed out those mistakes. And if not, I feel like, yes, this is going to be the result. But I feel like he'll be able to take a pretty comfortable P2, at least for the sprint race qualifying. So in P3, I have Carlos Sainz Jr. Yes, I feel like uh, Carlos will be able to take P3. Let's not forget last year, he started the race from pole position after Max's penalty. I feel like a top three start for Carlos Sainz is pretty doable. So that is my top three qualifiers for the sprint race. Guys, now let's get to the big gainers of the weekend. So for the team, I have McLaren. I feel like they will be able to overhaul a heap load of points out of this weekend, both at the sprint race and in the main race with both their drivers being so close to each other, it is very much possible for them to back the maximum points out of this weekend. So moving on to the drivers who I think is going to maximize their result and, and going to have the biggest gains out of the weekend, I think it's going to be Alexander Albon. Yes, I feel like the Williams with its characteristic of being super slippery down the straight will be able to squeeze out at least a point or two out of this weekend. And I feel like for Williams and Alex, that would be a great result to take home uh, from the Belgium Grand Prix. So now let's move on to the biggest flop of the weekend. In terms of teams, I feel like uh, it's going to be Alpha Tauri this weekend. Alpha Tauri, uh, it's a car that is very hard to predict on where the car actually lacks pace. And I feel like they've been having pretty much a rough weekend except for those one or two races in which uh, Yuki Sonoda was able to squeeze out a point or two for the team. Alpha Tauri, I feel like around a track like Belgium is just bound to struggle and I feel like uh, they will be the biggest flop of this weekend. So moving on to the drivers who I think is going to have the biggest floppy performance. Floppy? Is that even a word? Well, let's just roll with it. Uh, floppy or let's say... Um, poor performance out of this weekend, I think it's going to be Logan Sargent. 
yes i've gone for the obvious choice i know uh, he has been struggling pretty much all through the season except for his result at silverstone and i feel like uh, belgium would be a track in which he would suffer and uh, considering that i predict alexander albon to finish the car in points in either the sprint race or in the main race logan sargent's uh, result no matter what is going to look worse compared to his teammate so i feel like logan sargent is going to be the biggest flop in terms of driver performance this weekend so now let's move on to my bold predictions for the weekend so my first prediction or the bold prediction for the weekend is going to be rain and red flags yes i feel like the rain will interrupt pretty much all the sessions during the weekend and uh, which will also be followed up with a couple of red flags or at least one red flag in either qualifying or in the race whether it could be either the sprint or the main race but i feel like there's going to be red flag during either the qualifying or the race sessions so moving on to my second bold prediction of the weekend is Sergio Perez qualifies in the top 5 in both the sessions i mean for the both main and for the sprint race uh it's kind of shocking and hilarious and devastating at the same time to think that i'm predicting sergio perez who i thought would be able to you know finally be consistent and be able to at least take the fight to max to take the championship fight to the end of the season is now struggling to get into top 5 in the qualifying session is just laughable and honestly i don't know what to say considering the fact that i'm putting sergio perez's top 5 qualifying position to be a bold prediction is by itself is a bit devastating for me to say it out myself it is honestly sad and i hope i really hope he can pull this weekend together despite the weather kind of working on his odds i hope he can pull together a pretty healthy decent weekend if not the greatest and moving on to my third bowl prediction it is alfa romeo scores point i didn't say points i said point i feel like this would be a race in which either valtteri bottas or jogon yu would be able to get the car to p10 to finish the car in the points so that would be my three bowl predictions for the belgium grand prix weekend guys now let's move on to the main race podium finishes Well, for the race winner for the main race, I have Lando Norris. Yes, I for a change have put a different person on top for my main race winner prediction. I feel like Lando Norris, the race winner is just you know, it's been on the cards for a very long time and I feel like finally this would be the weekend in which he would seize his race win and it's very much possible considering the pace of the MCL 60 and uh, whether it would be due to max verstappen having a reliability issue or a technical issue with the car is you know something that we have to wait and watch but i feel like lando norris could win the belgium grand prix which honestly has to be my bold prediction as well because if the rb19 is to be anything close to the pace of the rb18 what we saw in the belgium grand prix last year this should be the biggest bold prediction i'm i'm just going to roll with it just to see that if i can manifest this to reality so i'm going to have lando norris as my winner for the main race at the belgium grand prix so now moving on to p2 i have max verstappen Yes, I feel like Max Verstappen is going to have a bad weekend with the air quotes bad weekend in which he's going to finish second in a race and yes, I have nothing more to add to it. I feel like Lando Norris would win the race and Max Verstappen would finish P2 in the Belgium Grand Prix main race. So moving on to the driver who I think is going to finish third in the main race at the Belgium Grand Prix, it's going to be Sergio Perez. Yes, I feel like despite him qualifying out of the top 3 for the main race, I feel like he'd be having the race pace to get to the podium step at least. So, I feel like Sergio Perez would finish third in the Belgium Grand Prix main race. Now let's move on to the sprint race podium finishes. Well, for the sprint race, I have 
Max Verstappen as the winner. Nothing surprising and this is just to be safe because I've gone for such a bold prediction for the main race race winner. I just want to have a very safe prediction for the sprint race honestly. So I'm going with the easy choice of Max Verstappen race winner for the sprint race at the Belgium Grand Prix. So moving on to the driver who I think is going to finish second in the sprint race, it's going to be Sergio Perez. Yes, considering that I put Sergio Perez to qualify second in the sprint race, I feel like he would easily be able to finish the sprint race in the place he started the race from. So P2 is a position in which Sergio Perez could easily finish the race. So the driver that I have who I think is going to finish third in the sprint race is going to be Charles Leclerc. Yes, he's been having a bit of a rough weekend uh, for the past couple of races since the Austrian Grand Prix. Yes, I feel like uh, the Ferraris would have the pace over, let's say, the Mercedes and the Aston Martins. And I feel like they would be the third best team on uh, grid at the Belgium Grand Prix weekend. And I feel like Charles Leclerc with his race pace would be able to overtake his teammate. I feel like Charles Leclerc will be able to finish third at the sprint race for the Belgium Grand Prix weekend. So yes guys, that would be my Belgium Grand Prix weekend prediction. So let me know in the comments on what is your Belgium Grand Prix weekend prediction guys. I'm excited to know who's on your predictions. So with that being said, I would like to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the Audubon Cast YouTube channel if you haven't already. Also hit that bell icon and turn on all notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. It's me your boy Audubon Cast AK Vinesh and I'm out. Love you guys. Stay safe. Peace.